Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome to another deck guide. Today we will be talking about Ace from the Free Brothers structure deck. This is the deck I'm looking forward the most because this is one of the most fun and one of the most consistent decks I have tested in the simulator and I really cannot wait for the structure deck to be released or the starter deck, however you want to call it. So. Let's look at his effect. With two dot attached, you can once per turn look at the top five cards of your deck, add up to one five cost. It literally has to be a five cost character card to the top of your life face up. Then place the remaining cards at the bottom of the deck in any order. So he is basically a searcher for your life. It sounds a bit weird, but we will get to that part. At the end of the turn, send all uh, face up cards in your life to the trash. So. Um, as you probably have guessed by now, you somehow have to use this face-up card you have just searched. Well, you have a lot of options to mm, make that happen. Basically, the game plan is you search one of your five cost brothers, so either Ace, either Luffy or either Sabo and you get them to your life. So you have them face up now, but how do you summon them? you play the smaller versions of the character. So for example, if you found the five cost Luffy, you put him to your life, then from your hand, play the small character, you play him, activate his effect, you trash him, and he plays the bigger version of himself from the life to your field. Also, once you transform, let's say, the card to the bigger version, you get um, 2000 power until the start of your next turn. So. Uh, it doesn't matter if you transform Ace or Luffy or Sabo, um, once you do that your leader gains plus 2000 power and he also has two Dawn attached. So um, while it's your turn you have 9000 attack and once you pass the turn you will have 7000. So this is extremely strong, extremely vi um, valuable. But as you have maybe guessed by now, what happens if I have only Ace in my hand? and I don't find Ace with the leader ability and I find for example something like Luffy or Sabo or even another 5 cost character like Satori or Tsuru. Well, you have many many options um, to not brick and um, those options are either Flampe, where you can simply attach the wrong five cost you have uh, you have found, may it be Tsuru or Satori or a wrong brother, it doesn't matter. You play Flampe, you uh, activate her on play effect. You may add one card from the top or bottom of a life card to your hand, and you draw one. So basically, you don't brick, you uh, draw the card that uh, is face up on your life. So it does, it does not go to the trash and you draw one additionally. So for only uh, three dawn you have uh, drawn twice basically and have not bricked. This is one option. You can also um, put the wrong card on top of it and uh, change it with uh, Hiori. So if you have searched and you did not find the right uh, brother you needed, doesn't matter, you can simply use Hiori and let's say put Sabo on the top, play the low cost version of him and continue your transformation. Um, also you have um, the ability from the 5 cost Luffy where he has the ability this character gains 2000 uh, power until the start of your next turn. Then if you have one or more life draw one card and trash the top card of your life. This is basically um, the least valuable way to not brick because let's say you um, only hit Satori so you could somehow get her to your hand with Luffy um, you empower him and draw a card but you trash Satori it's not that bad I mean you bricked in the first place so it's not that bad if you cannot recover her to your hand I mean she's a 2k counter it's all right, but it's not the worst. If she goes to the trash, you have you now have an 8,000 attacker until the start of the next turn. Don't forget about that. And you have drawn one card. So basically you have um, even it out now. And with the last possibility to not brick, I have included Thunderbolt. So 
if you for whatever reason cannot make use out of, uh, of, of anything you have put onto your life may it be Tsuru or Satori or you cannot even uh, use one of the brothers you always can use Thunderbolt trash the top card let's say for free because it would have been trashed anyway and KO one of your opponent characters with a cost of five or less so this deck is really really consistent you have so much options to not brick and um, whenever you attach to Dawn this makes a little stronger so you have like a pseudo 7k leader all the time uh, this is uh, really great and this is why I love this deck so much because um, it has so much recovery system put into it itself and it's truly fun no matter in what situation you're in you can always make the best out of it and uh, to complete the deck list we have also included uh, Satori as you have seen because she's a 5 cost, a 2k counter and a trigger we have Hiyori to um, to uh, change the top uh, or the bottom life cards we have the small Sabo and the big Sabo um, the small one plays the bigger logically but the bigger has the on play effect that you can uh, trash the top of uh, the top card of your life and you can uh, KO a 5 cost so if you have more than 5 dawn let's say you have 7 dawn with 2 you uh, search something you brick and then you could actually trash a top card and KO something so this works also in your favor. The um, small ace summons the big ace, he has an on play ability that if you have two or less life cards you gain rush or the card gains rush which is insane for a 5 cost. Um, this will happen most of the time, you, you are quickly going to fall down to 2 life, it's not that bad. Um, this is somehow your sweet spot area where this ace gains rush and a 5 cost character with 7000 power insane in late game if you have two of those in your hand drop them you have <laughs> two uh, 7000 rush characters played it's insane it really is that can be uh, a good finisher then we have our searcher garb he searches for um, either sabo ace or monkey d luffy with a cost of five or less so you can search the small ones or the big ones pretty standard uh, he also has a 1k counter and most of the times if you play him on Don 1 you could swing with him with 3 Don attached uh, or clear some clear some rested searchers or rested characters from your enemy it's no big deal I have also included Sanji's Pilaf because if it's in your trigger great you draw two cards um, if you did not have anything for Don 1 and you're on Don 3 this is almost every time worth to play because drawing two cards at, at dawn 3 is it's pretty good there's nothing bad about it and you can simply swing with your leader because at dawn 3 you won't be swinging uh, I mean you will be swinging but you won't be searching um, because even if you would hit something you most likely won't have one of your um, low version characters for it to transform so you will either search at 4 dawn or above so most of the time when you're at 3 or at 4 um, it happens a lot to, uh, that it's the right play to uh, use Sanchez Pilaf so this is why I have included it in this decklist this is basically the decklist and I have already explained to you guys how to not brick with this deck and once you are going to the late game you will see that um, this character, this leader, has a lot of survivability because you draw a good amount of cards, you have a good amount of 2k um, counters and it's pretty hard to get rid of your Luffy, to get rid of your Ace. Sabo is um, a bit easier to get rid of because he does not empower himself and has the lowest base power let's say because Luffy also has 6000 but he can empower himself with 2000 so um, Sabo is a bit easier for your opponent to deal with but um, you have so much cards in hand you uh, you can almost count out out of everything protect your characters and then simply swing and again and again and again and again and it's insane it's really fun it's really consistent and this deck is a lot of fun there is also some room for um for changes um as i have said 
Ace requires uh, uh, a specific five cost or a unit that is specifically a five cost. Um, so you can target it and put it to your life. This is why Tsuru is there, she's a five cost and um, she's a 2k counter. This is why Satori is there, she's a five cost, she's a 2k counter. Um, you could also change that for Yamato if you want um, a little bit more of offense because this character has rush if you play her and you can look uh, at I mean basically her effect says on play look at all your life cards place one of the cards on the top uh, on the top of your deck then return your life cards uh, in your desired order so mm, this could be potentially useful if you can remember the three or four cards you have remaining in your life. Um, it could be useful uh, because if you know that the top of your life card is, in, is, in, uh, is a bigger version of Ace, you can simply play him. You do not need to change anything if you're sure that uh, if you reveal the top card that it's Ace, simply play him, um, trash this character and then boom, you have an... Uh, Rush Ace or do the same thing with Luffy or with Sabo, it works perfectly fine. Um, I have found myself that sometimes, just really sometimes, her effect can be quite useful. Um, her effect is on play you may trash two cards from your hand, your opponent returns one of their characters to its owner's hand. So you gotta be careful, you do not decide which character is going to be returned. It says your opponent returns one of the characters to its owner's hand. So your opponent can decide if he wants um, his, I don't know, let's say 10 cost Kaidor or his 5 cost Queen or whatever he has. This is um, far more powerful if your opponent only has one big character or if he has like maybe two or three and you have cleared all of them except for one. Um, then he only has one choice, obviously. So if he has three characters, you uh, cleared or killed two of them, he only has one left, you play two, well, of course he has to choose that one. So it can be really useful to play Tsuru. It's like uh, the last resort if you cannot deal with something and um, it is, I don't know, like a big 10 cost or it's like a 9 cost uh, Zoro that can attack three times the secret rare from OPO6, go for Zoro and um, it can help you quite sometimes. This is why I've included her and you guys can also, as I said, change to Yamato. She has rush, she looks at the top of your life cards, she is also a 2k counter, a 5 cost and uh, you can do the same thing to recover your life. Uh, and uh, go on with a playstyle, but in the late game, if you really need a rush, if you do not have the Zoro, uh, go for Yamato, try and swing once again, or if you want to clear something, go for it. Yamato is good as well, I personally think that Tsuru fits just a bit better. So this is it, this is basically it guys, thank you so much for watching, I hope you guys enjoyed it, and if you do, please leave a like, subscribe. I really cannot wait for this deck. I hope you guys think the same way. And yeah, thank you for watching and we will see each other in the next video. Peace.